Today's video is gonna be about how I package and ship my orders. For those of y'all who don't know and may be new here, I am the owner of Days Palette, which is an online business specializing in cosmetics. I currently sell lip glosses, lip scrubs, this bomb eyelash serum that helps your lashes grow, your natural lashes at that, and also lashes, just in case you know your lashes not where they wanna be at and you need some minks. Right now I have one baby and I have one golden hour lip gloss. So make sure y'all shopping. I have some more stuff coming. So be on the lookout. This business is about to go up. Okay, period. But today's video is about how I package and ship my orders to all of my customers around the world. I do ship worldwide. But today I do have two orders to ship. So I'm just gonna show you all that process. Now, Days Palette opened for business June 8th, 2020, which is my birthday. It was my 20th birthday, and I wanted to start a business. As you all know, I'm a makeup artist, and I love, love, love makeup, so I was like, why not sell my own cosmetics? So I do plan on expanding my business in the future, making it a whole situation, but as of now, as I listed before, I do sell cosmetics. I use GoDaddy for my website. GoDaddy is amazing. Um, pretty much everything that I'm going to talk about today is done through GoDaddy already, but I'm going to do some things mainly just to show you all the process and how everything goes. So we're going to get into it. So whenever an order is placed through my website, it automatically comes into my order tab and I have record of each order that is placed. Over here you can see all the orders that I fulfilled and these are the two that I have to fulfill today. And I know I said earlier that my last year is bomb these 7.99s are the total for the lash serums and people have been buying them up okay so i'm just going to show you all the process so i would just easily click on the order and then it will give off the shipping address that was placed and also what product they want so this person ordered one rosy eyelash serum and is going to the address so that is how i just see you know what is or what the person ordered and if they order multiple things, of course, it will tell you the quantity and things of that nature. A picture also shows up so I'll know exactly you know, what I'm looking for. Um, both of the people that I'm shipping off orders to today ordered Rosie Eyelash Serum. I'm telling y'all, get this serum. So I'm gonna be shipping off two serums today. I keep my inventory pretty much stocked. These are my lashes, my lip scrub. Up here, some glosses, and then what I use to make the glosses, of course I use disposable bowls and popsicle sticks, gloves, these are all the glosses. Over here I have some more glosses, these are the original colors that I first started off with. Down here are some more lashes and lip scrubs, so I keep my inventory and you know these little plastic bins, easy to access. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with cleaning my surface because it is very vital that everything is clean. I'm gonna clean off my work area, make sure it's all clean, sanitized. I also forgot to add that all of my products are handmade, but they are made in a clean and sanitized environment. Be sure to look at my COVID-19 safety tab on my website. So now my gloves are on um, and now I'm going to package the orders. As I mentioned before, I'm sending off two, I don't know why these are so hard to get out right now. Like, they usually pull up the next one but it's not doing that right now. Okay, so um, I'm sending off two eyelash serums. These are what they look like. I'll insert a picture of what they actually look like because the lighting, so much white going on. If you all haven't noticed, I love wearing white. But I'm sending off two eyelash serums to two different customers and I'm going to clean and sanitize these as well just because safety is key right now. Okay, don't want nothing coming back on me. I'm cleaning, okay? So I got these little baggies from Amazon. I have a larger size for the lashes. Um, so I use these little mesh bags. I have business cards that I place in, we got to see that, that I place in each package. And then I have these bubble packages that I put all the orders in just to kind of add some cushion to anything. Put one in each bag with a business card. Close it up nice and snug. And then I'll do the same with the other. 
and this is the same process with the lip glosses the lip scrubs whatever they ordered i did the same thing in different size bags depending on what they ordered if they order lashes of course it'll be a bigger bag because the lash boxes are a little bit larger so once everything is packed i will place it in the shipping package like so Here they are. Through GoDaddy, there's a shipping um, website called Shippo. That's what I use to ship all of my orders out, and it goes through USPS. Um, well, United States Postal Service, for those who are like, what's that? Um, so you can either enter the addresses manually, or you can sync all of your orders through Shippo. Today, I'm gonna do it manually just to kind of show you all. And then sometimes the computer can make mistakes and ship you know, things not to the wrong place, but cause confusion. For example, if there's an apartment number added, sometimes the computer won't quite see that part and then they'll just ship it to, ship it to the generic address. So sometimes I like to just put things in mainly just to be sure that it's going to the right place, the right person, things of that nature. So I want to show you all how to actually ship and get shipping labels and all of that. So the only real things you'll need is a simple scale. I got like a just a regular kitchen scale from Amazon and then shipping labels. I got these. These are Avery five and a half by eight and a half, 200 labels. I got these from Office Depot. Um, and then our, any regular printer, I have a Canon 3830 printer, I believe. I know it's a Canon, I don't know if I'm saying the number right, but I have a regular Canon printer. Um, I, they have actual shipping printers where they come with a row of shipping labels and you just insert it in and it goes from there. But I already had a printer, so I didn't feel like, you know, buying another printer. If mine worked just fine, you know. So whatever is convenient for you. So with Shippo, you have the option to sync your orders automatically or create the label. So what I usually do is just create the label. Well, I have everything kind of already here and I had to enter my P.O. box number of all of that. And of course, I will not do that on camera. Um, and then I simply enter the name of the customer, enter their name, email, phone, and their street address. After you enter all of the shipping address info, it will ask you for the custom dimensions of the package and also the weight of the package. This is where the scale comes in. I always weigh in grams. Um, and I'll show you all that process. It's a really simple process. Um, just make sure your scale is in grams and you're weighing it and you're just gonna enter the weight into the computer and then the dimensions of whatever your package is. For the um, bubble packages that I use, the dimensions are on the packages. So I just simply enter them from there. I have my scale and I'm gonna turn it on. And then there should be a T. So the T means tear and that's just gonna make sure that everything's balanced out. And I'm simply just gonna place it on top of it and this package is 32 grams even okay and it should be the same thing but it's the same exact package 32 grams even so it should read on the scale and then you just simply enter that in these packages are seven by fours so i will put that into the dimensions and that's the simple you know scaling process so you make sure you fill all that in and that will determine how much the shipping label will be so I put in the custom dimensions, seven by four, for how to just put one and it always works. So I just left it as that um, and then 32 grams and I'm going to save it. And from there, it's just gonna show you the rate. You can choose whichever one if it's a priority and your person or your customer wants it to be there tomorrow. Of course, you can choose the other shipping rates, but being that I'm just using you know, a traditional shipping rate, I'm gonna just choose the top one, 274, and make sure you link a card to your Shippo account so that whenever you purchase a shipping label, it comes from that card. So I'm just gonna press buy. I'm just gonna ask me to confirm it. there the shipping label pdf pops up and i just simply print it so of course i put my shipping labels in where the paper goes and i'm just going to print it straight from my computer so each label has been printed and obviously it's too big so what i do is i just cut right along this black line making it fit onto the package perfectly i threw godaddy and shippo once the shipping labels have been created 
the customer does get an email saying, okay, you know, your package is in the process of getting shipped out, but it will not tell them that it's been shipped out or supply them with their tracking number. I have to actually put that in. So I'm gonna show you all that as well. So right now I'm just cutting these out to place them on the packages. Now each package is ready to be shipped off. Now this process is super easy. I just go to my local post office and I give it to them and they scan it right in. There's a barcode at the bottom and they scan it right to wherever it needs to go. Um, if I have a lot of orders, I'll usually just drop them off and I have I built a relationship with the lady that works there. So she already knows like, hey, these are my orders. I make eye contact with her and we're out. But sometimes if I have one or two, I'll usually just stand there and get the receipt just to, you know, have it. But being that I have record of each tracking number, I always go back and check, put in the tracking number and make sure, you know, they got to their destination. If the customer has not already contacted me and told me, you know, I got, I got my order, you know? <laughs> so, um, that's the easy part, shipping it out. So lastly, I'm going to show you all how I manually enter the tracking numbers into the system so that the tracking numbers are sent to everyone's emails. Back in GoDaddy, um, this is where you can easily create the shipping label and just have it synced right into Shippo. But like I said, I did it manually just to show you all. So here is the fulfill order. And this is where you simply enter the tracking number. And from there, it will email them, here's your tracking number your package should be delivered by so-and-so date and that's pretty much it i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope it helped any aspiring entrepreneurs shipping and packaging is really simple just have to order all of your stuff you know from amazon or wherever you feel like you could order your things from um my business cards i made them myself it's really simple you can just google you know business cards and you can make your own business card have them printed and shipped out to you everything is pretty much right at our fingertips literally if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and i will get back to you answer your question to the best of my ability don't forget to shop day's palette so you can get all of your cosmetic needs okay well not all of them just yet be on the lookout i have some things coming really really soon and i'm really excited and i will definitely be sharing them with you all Thank y'all for tuning in. See y'all next week for another video.